All right, so I don't know if you've noticed, but there are a lot of different cameras that claim to shoot 1080p. So you would think that their quality would all be the same. Well, today we're going to put one, two, three, four different cameras through a 1080p test to see if 1080p really means the same thing. Let's get into it. All right, so hey, welcome back to Low Def Media. And today we've got a little bit of an experiment. Um, here in the home studio, I've got one, two, three, four different cameras set up. And I'm going to try and, and see because I've, here's why. I'm gonna try and test to see if 1080p really means the same thing across all four cameras because I would contend that just because it says 1080p doesn't mean you're gonna get the same kind of video quality. There are a lot of different cameras on the market that say, hey, we shoot in 1080p, 30 frames a second. And so you would think that they would all look the same, but let's find out if that is the case. Let's talk about which cameras that I have selected for today's test. First up, we've got the Canon DSLR. It's my uh, T7i Rebel uh, shooting 1080, 30 frames a second. I've got the kit lens on it, which is, I believe, uh, let me look at the thing, 18 to 55. I uh, don't have it zoomed in at all, so it's probably at 18 uh, millimeters. Then over here, we've got the Deptec 1080p webcam. Again, shooting 30 frames a second. And so this should look just like my Canon. What else do we have? Over here, we've got my Sony point and shoot. This is the DSC HX80. Again, shooting 1080p, 30 frames a second. Now, one thing I'm sure you're gonna notice between these first three cameras is that you're gonna see a little bit difference in color in clarity, white balance, because they all have a different lens and they all have different sensors. And so that sensor allows a certain amount of light in. Now, the light that I've got, I've got a circle light here that's my fill light, and then I've got an overhead box light, and then some you know ambient light in the back. Back to the DSLR. So What's that fourth camera, you ask? Well, this one is gonna be kind of like, I don't wanna say spoiler, but it's gonna be kind of like, I don't wanna say placebo either. This is the wild card. That's a great word to use, wild card. This is one that I threw in and I want you to tell me what you think. Does this image look radically different than everybody else? Because it is quite a different camera. Plus, I've also, kind of tweak the settings a little bit to see if you can tell the difference between this camera and the other three cameras. So, have you figured it out yet? Okay, I will go ahead and tell you what it is. Spoiler alert, it's my iPad. Now, this is an older generation iPad, but I've got it set to shoot 4K 30 frames a second because I want to compare the 4K image coming out of an iPad slash iPhone to a DSLR image compared to a webcam image compared to a Sony point and shoot image. So, you tell me, does 1080p look the same across the board or are there differences? And are those differences noticeable enough to prevent you from picking one over the other? I would contend that 1080p is probably gonna look the same across the board. Now, I haven't looked at the video yet, I haven't done any editing, so I don't know, but I'm gonna say they look probably very similar. You're gonna see some nuances, some differences, one between the other, but I think this is the key factor between all four. Usability and convenience. The Sony point and shoot, that's gonna be very convenient, put that in your pocket. The webcam sits on your desk, that's great if you want to do a talking head streaming kind of video, uh, but obviously you can't take it with you, so that's more of an office setup. Now the DSLR is probably going to be the best image out of the four just because of the lens and the sensor, but it is bigger and so sometimes it's just not convenient to use. What about that iPad? 
I know, you've seen the parents, they're up there holding an iPad at some event, and it looks ridiculous. But in a pinch, it probably makes, it probably has a very great image and decent audio. But again, it's not convenient unless it's the only thing you have available. And then again, it's a usable image. So you decide what's best for you. But for now, thanks again for taking time to check out Low Def Media. And if you like this kind of content, hey, become a subscriber. And if you like this video, do me a favor, hit the thumbs up. So until the next time, we'll see you then.